Naomi Campbell reveals huge new business venture. Supermodel Naomi Campbell is embarking on a new business venture alongside Pretty Little Thing founder Amari Kamani in the form of a talent and partnership agency based in Dubai. KC Global Partnership is scheduled to be opened in September 2024. The agency is aimed to revolutionize the talent and brand collaboration landscape in the Middle East and beyond. It's a focus on driving innovation and culture through partnerships between talent, brands, celebrities, industry leaders, and experts. According to Naomi, Dubai has become a global hub for talent, brands, and innovations. Priyanka Chopra reveals the secrets behind Namaste post doing Miss What. Priyanka Chopra returned to the same spot in London where she won the Miss Ward pageant in 2000. The actor recounted a special memory from the time she won the title. At the Miss Ward 2000 beauty pageant, Priyanka Chopra, who was 18, crowned the winner. Now in 2024, Priyanka revisited the same spot at London, this time to attend the concert of her husband named Jonas. The actor took to her Instagram page to share a special memory from the place and review how she was desperately trying to keep her dress from falling. In the caption, she said, I was crowned Miss Ward at the O2 Arena 24 years ago. It was called Millennium Domain back then. I will never forget my little 18-year-old, excited, nervous, competitive self trying to look and be the best I could be. She went on to add that a memory I will never forget from November 30th, 2000 is a feeling of balancing on pencil heels with a gorgeous Emana Trevor D dress that was falling off the entire evening because my body shape would not stay on it as I was sweating so much from my nerves. And if you Google this picture after I won, I looked like I was doing namaste in gratitude, but actually I was desperately trying to keep my dress up with a laughing face emoji <laughs> clearly i survived and it was all at the end shocking details about prince harry and prince william's relationship revealed prince williams and prince harry have never shared a close bond a real commentator ingrid stewart made a surprising claims in a conversation with son According to the Royal Commentator, they were only really close to when their mother, Princess Diana, left the world in 1997. And of course, they unified and they were the only two people that knew what it felt like. But they weren't very close as youngsters. I remember after Williams went on his gap year way back, Ari said he is much nicer now. So this saying that Ari and Williams were very close is a myth. Ingrid stated that the late people's Princess Diana used to be so worried about her younger son's future after he was ignored by a key royal figure, the Queen Mother. When they used to go and see the Queen Mother, she would pass the chair and say, come and sit here, William, and completely ignore Ari and directly upset Diana, she disclosed. Fans dragged Justin Timberlake over his interview with Jimmy Fallon. Justin Timberlake sparked passionate response from audience as he has made his first media appearance after his drinking plea was finalized. The Friends with Benefit actor has recently faced legal charges for his actions after he appeared on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. However, the first three-year-old actor trouble does not seem to end anytime soon as he has been dragged on the internet for not mentioning the driving case during his appearance on the talk show. A talk show host Fallon and Timberlake have reportedly been longtime friends, and he had a light at a discussion about the singer's upcoming Christmas album and his Forget Tomorrow World Tour. Notably, the conversation stayed clear of any reference to the singer's driving case, which was criticized by the audience. Social media users took to X, formerly known as Twitter, and expressed their disappointment in writing. Make sure he doesn't drive himself. Ask him how the driving is going. And that's it on the news today. My name is Uludami. Thank you for watching. Bye.